Hi, very welcome. Big welcomes, big smiles from down under in Australia. This is Rowie and this is my partner Kim. Today we'll be introducing the Hukolo webinar for the Saturday 24th of October 2015. I want to be a big welcome to everybody on YouTube who's watching and also to everybody who's managed to get a place in the room today as it can be quite tricky sometimes so I appreciate uh, everybody's commitment and attitude. I just like to um, uh, just say a few things about how the webinar is going to proceed today, how we're going to interact and how we're going to do things um, just so everybody's clear on everything and um, we know how to go forward and, and, and be respectful to everybody in the room and to everybody else who wants to come in interact and join. We also got a few announcements as well so uh, Please bear with us on that. So today I'll just be I'll just be here with Kim, looking after Kim while she channels Almatok and whoever else comes in. Um, Sabrina will be doing the main interactions today as you, as per usual in a beautiful way. So if you do have questions, um, please ask in the chat or let Sabrina know somehow that you've got a question for her. Um, she can ask a question for you, or you can be put in turn to answer your questions, so just unmute your mic, ask your questions to Amatok with the being being channeled, and then we can, um, and it just lets the, the webinar flow properly, and then once you're done with your questions, what we're going to ask you is if, if you don't mind leaving the room, and then you're able to come back again um, if you need to ask another question, but it just gives the opportunity for other people to um, come in as well, and sorry, I've got some technical things right here. And um, it, gives, it just means everybody gets to have a chance to do what they need to, you know, to interact. Because we've got so many members now, it's getting a little tricky. But that's saying we've got a lot more going on. So later on tonight at 5 p.m. EST, we've got a new uh, Hukolo webinar, and it's called Storytime. And it's going to be done with Roxanne Swainhart. And we're really looking forward to it. I know there's a few other people as well. It's all been forming around this thing, but we've actually got something solid now. So that will be every Saturday at 5 p.m. EST, um, Hukolo story time. And what we're going to do, we're going to invite people to come and um, do, do anything. Fireside stories, channeled stories, stories about yourself. It's going to be hardly any limitations on it, as long as it's respectful and nice. And, you know, um, that's, that's what we're encouraging people to do. So that was going to be our next event. It'll be starting later on today. Um, the Reiki class that Hugh Clo is doing um, is going to be an offline, it's, off, it's not going to be an on-air event, but it's going to be online, and that will be on the 26th of October and the 2nd of November, 2 to 6 p.m. EST. The price of the lessons is $100 per lesson, or is yeah, it $100, $100 a package? For, well, the first two classes, and then another 100 for the second two. There you go. Mm, yeah. Secretary. Guys, go for this. Really, go for this. It is very, very special. And even if you do have some Reiki qualifications, it doesn't eliminate you from coming and participating. We have a very special twist on what... Max and Jim are doing and Sabrina is working hard at it as well and it, it, there's a lot of coordination and a lot of time going into this. So it doesn't matter if you already have introduced yourself to the idea, you have certain qualifications, you are all going to get something out of this. So please don't feel limited, just attend, it's worth it, believe me. And the price for Max and Jim's time that they put into this it's minimal. This is precious stuff. So please come. Please attend. Thank you. Um, tomorrow we have our um, regular uh, meditation, which is going absolutely fantastic. So it's a guided meditation every Sunday at 7 p.m. EST. And I can't believe it's already come around to me doing it again. So um, also we want to invite other people to, if they're interested in doing meditations, and also if you're interested in helping Hukolo host our events because as we're growing we're getting so many events we need more people to be able to push buttons and start these recordings and you know just make sure they're moderated well and um, I know she has uh, shown interest already if you check the website out and apply on the website um, that would really be beneficial and we just um, we make a meeting about it and we decide who we feel is best for 
doing that. Uh, the only conditions you need is like a bit of a good upload speed on your on your computer, so you can run a full room of people uh, interacting uh, as we are right now. Um, so just check the website out for that. Also, um, I've got a little plug for my webinar, um, Portal of Abundance. It's going to be about wealth, how to create more abundance in your wealth um, of wealth in your life. And that's going to be on Wednesday the 28th at 1 a.m. EST. I know it's a funny time, but I'm going to show you ways that I am able to fund my life in a way on a low income, yet I'm able to stay in Australia for three months with no work and yet still keep myself within funds. And I've found some very clever ways on the internet that you can create uh, more money for yourself, more income, more wealth, passive ways, and I'll show you a few of the ideas that I go through to do this and hopefully that can benefit everybody and then you can pay for sessions with Jim and Kim and Sabrina because she's going to be doing loads soon and everybody else so we re I'm really excited about showing other people how to create that abundance in their life and um, and yeah so look I've been going on for ages now you want to get into the channeling so Sabrina beautiful Sabrina welcome Hello, everybody. Hiya. How are you, Roy? A little flustered, but I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm I can here. see Kim is ready. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Your camera on her a little bit more, I think. Whoop. There we go. So I want to say hello to everyone, everyone who's here, um, everyone who's watching, and everybody that's in the chat boxes. So um, we will do our best to get um, most questions answered. Um, unfortunately, it's not always possible to do it. So if please, please bear with us. Um, we all try our best to coordinate, and that's why we always said about um, dropping and then, you know, letting others come in. So. <clears throat> that it's um, helpful and it gets everybody um, having the opportunity to ask their own questions of Amata. So, um, Roy, do you want to say a little bit about Amata? Um, yeah, Kim's been channeling Amata now for approximately about six months, five or six months, oh, is it? Is it? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, time flies. <laughs> so, um, um, Amatoi is an extra dimensional being. Um, he is a, let's say, a counselor for um, higher, higher um, vibrations uh, of being. Counselor to all, he likes to put it. Mm -hmm. And as obviously, as, as we've started to lift our vibration as well, um, Amatoi is not just counseling with aliens and stuff, he's come to help humanity as well and help through some of the spiritual. Um, belief systems that we built up and break some of them down a little bit and um, you know and, and start really finding out what you want what's best for you you know rather than having all these messages and us being like oh well this person says that this person says that what's good for you and that's that's how I feel about Alma Talk and I love his interactions with people they always seem to be very very deep and meaningful and Kim's always excited to be able to bring him through and yeah so, that's great. Is, that, is that enough? Waffling yes, off. That's, that's very good. Like that, some people get an idea. Kim, if, if you can just, um, somebody had asked what kind of questions they can ask, if you could uh, um, tell them that. Uh, it, it's pretty much limitless. Um, I mean, he will reference Gurk Vigneer, but not to any great extent. Um, that that's a process that is changing, but at, for now, um, that's much more applicable to, to Kerr. Sometimes to Kerr will pop in and speak with Alma Talk, and I can I can share questions. Um, and this happens quite a lot with Jim's uh, channels. Uh, when I'm channeling Alma Talk, uh, there perhaps will be a message from Laketch or uh, Pentum or, or you know it could be anyone. Depends on on what's needed. Um, so yeah, he, he's where he resides. He's in the space between alien and spirit, and you know that that really leaves him open to a lot of general questions. Um, so really, there's no limits. I mean, if he can't answer, he will say, 
Um, but I have yet to come across that. So it's it's open range, and people uh, tend to sense his uh, energy quite well, and can work out how he can best address their questions. So it seems to flow well. Um, so I hope that answers it. It's yes. it's a spectrum. Mm. Yes. So thank you, Kim. So don't worry about personal messages. If you want to ask a personal message, if something's there, that 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 would be fine. Um, the usual Qcolo questions, um, they can be asked, but obviously Amatok has to go through to ask to Kerr as well. So it, it save the law of confusion. If you want your Qcolo stuff, mainly when it comes to human the colonies, it's always best to stick with Jim and his channels for that. We we do advise that. I can channel them, but I choose not to. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. So, is there anything else? Okay. No, I think that's good. And um, uh, Karen wrote a reminder of Ken being on the radio on Tuesday. I don't know oh. what. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. That's 6 p.m. EST on Tuesday. Um, you can see him on uh, Karen's show about oneness on Blog Talk Radio and. Be a rude one, I think. <laughs> there might be some confusion there. But okay, I know, I know. one. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Okay. On on that note, um, oh, I would like to say something. Uh, just a little footnote here. When I channeled Metatron, he mentioned um, that within the next two years, most people are going to start finding out what is it that they're going to be doing. Ooh. So, um, I thought that was very interesting, and everybody would enjoy that. So, on that note, I would like to now let Kim concentrate, meditate, and uh, bring Amata. Um, okay. Thank you, everybody. Much love, and I'll see you soon. <clears throat> Greetings. This be Alma Talk. Greetings, Alma Talk. How are you? This is Sabrina. Sabrina, hello. I am well, and how are you? I am very well, thank you. Very good. Yes. Um, thank you for coming and uh, helping all of us and being there for all of us, for humanity. Um, I would like to know if you have anything that you could comment on on the Ascension and then anything else that you wish to speak on before we all start asking questions. Yes, I do. Thank you very much for the invitation. At the moment there is much interest. There is a theme that is flowing amongst the Galacti. Now, there are many three-dimensional planets that are asking similar questions and humans are ones that often bring up these topics. So for the sake of a general deliverance and with the intention of addressing these issues, I would like to bring up these ideas at this point. Please understand, I will share this with you. This message will go to other three-dimensional planets at varying stages in their evolution. Now, when I come to you with a predetermined deliverance, it is out of the Great Assembly and the meeting decisions, information that has been looked upon and messages taken away and shared amongst these three-dimensional realms. What is the most effective way to do this? So it is done in a coordinated effort. 
So my role is very often that I would visit other realms, other planets, other galaxies, the multiverse. And yes, I have much love for the humans. I have much love for all incarnated life and spirit. They are all of wonder. Now, back to my question, back to my answer. The purpose, the meaning, the meaning of life. This is an eternally asked question, understood. Often the reply and the information is not readily available to you. And this is because you are simply not prepared to reinforce it. This is not a judgment. This is part of your own personal growth. This is part of your own individual journeys and this is part of whether you are part of what you call the ascension or if your purpose is to be of a very three-dimensional role on these individual planets. Now, the meaning of life. My friends, the meaning of life is life. Take yourself a step backwards. You are very much involved in your lives, but you do it in such a way that it is a subconscious occurrence. And there is times, often, where you do not grace yourself with the attention you deserve in the idea that you chose life. You chose to be who you are. This is the meaning of life. You chose it. Now, this begs the question, what is the meaning of life? What is it to you, your own frequency, your own vibration? This also brings in the idea is what is your purpose? Where shall you move? How will you look? How do you seek? My friends, those that you hear my voice at this point, you are addressing your purpose. You are seeking. You have come to ask anywhere. Look for what inspires you. What is it that you think of on a daily basis that inspires you? Is it deliverance from a channeler? Is it a book you have read? Is it something that you see in your populace around you and you wish to address? May it simply be kindness. Beyond that point, then aspire with your inspiration. Choose to aspire. Choose to work towards what inspires you for here is your purpose. Your purpose is individual. It does not serve any of you to be told, as many of you wish, what your purpose is. For part of the idea of your incarnation and your great and wondrous choice of life is to discover your purpose as you journey on your planet. So please do not expect outcomes and become attached to them. For also, there may only be probably probability look towards. There are variables. The variables very much entail what you call your five senses. Now maybe also add, for many of you, you have the intangible senses. Some are unidentified and some are yet to be and many are identified and they are enrolling it in their lives. Now, introspection, inspiration, aspiration, introspection, introspection. This is where your answers lay. You have them. 
Now this is a typical answer that will be given to you by one of your wondrous channelers on your planet. However, it is true. The difference and the distinction is how do you reach out to that knowledge that exists within you. Now this is a process. This is a process of understanding where you lay. How do you hold the universe around you? How do you address the galactite? How do you address yourself? There are many ways to come to discover what it is you call your purpose. My friends, please worry less about your purpose. Live your life. Your purpose will present itself to you. You will be inspired and then create aspiration and know that in your greatness and in your choice and with your passion and with your depth of integrity, the great wonderment, the connection of you and the great of source, all your answers. They lay there still waiting for you to discover them. Introspection is important, yes, but there beyond, it is important to act. Act. Do not fear making what you name mistakes. This is a play. This is a journey. You have cast yourself in this role. Now what you call mistakes, they are simply a tool that is enrolled in your three-dimensional realm to teach you. If you repeat your mistakes, then yes, your journey will be difficult. If you do not choose to go introspective as you make what you call a mistake, then yes, you are likely to repeat it, yes, you are likely to be frustrated. Yes, you are likely to not aspire. Now, where you make mistakes, my friends, please celebrate. Celebrate that you have come to understand that this was a mistake and the step beyond that, most importantly, is to correct. Do not repeat. There are times perhaps when it will take you further mistakes to see more clearly. If that be the case, be gentle on yourself. Understand you are a being of learning. All beings learn at different paces, at different rates, and they learn through different means. Again, this comes back to your vibration within the galacti, your relationship, your vibration, your connection to the human collective. The human collective is wondrous. It is there to serve you. It is a reciprocal experience. As you reach out to the human collective and you create it, it sends back to you what you reflect. It is, in essence, what you would reference, the law of attraction. It is a wondrous reciprocation of energy. Understand your frequencies. Understand your vibration. Even simply see yourself as beings of this. Perhaps you may not, at this point, understand the way in which you vibrate. Perhaps you are not being introspective. Perhaps you are being far more what you would choose, avoidance. Avoidance, my friends. Avoiding yourself. This only harms you. Please do not avoid yourself. You are a great being. You created life. You created life. And you have created your purpose, your journeys, and your lessonary and agreements. Your belief systems are as individual as the number of your populace. And this is absolutely appropriate, for this is what will journey you to your 
lessonary. It is a complex representation in that one may make one choice that may bring to it a thousand responses and you are left to choose. Now if you are aspired, if you allow yourself to be excited, if you allow yourself to respond openly and vulnerable to what you are presented with, my friends, clarity will be there. It sits within you with your three dimensional senses. You do not need the intangibles. It is a wondrous support if you have them. And yet, please understand if it is not your choice, it is appropriate. It does not leave you disadvantaged. Humans are wonderful. They are great. Simply by being human, you are at no disadvantage. You are at greatness. So this be my message. Please, the meaning of life is life. The purpose is your inspiration. The lessonary, your journey. That be my message for this moment. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Ah, Sabrina's dropped on the top. So Sabrina's um, followed now. Yeah. Okay. Um, I um, I'm up. first on the queue. Hello, hello, dear Alma Talk. This is Noha. Noha, hello. How are you? I've okay. realized since I've I've entered the uh, the Aquarian age that I've became much calmer and I've seen things that I'm trying to. No, I don't want to say the way of trying. I'm manifesting. Uh, I'm I'm becoming. I uh, I'm surrendering. I'm peaceful. Ah. But still, I feel things are coming, but they're slow. You know what I mean? But I'm still, I'm accepting the atmosphere. I'm accepting the whole environment. And yet, I don't know what's in store for me. Could you tell me what's, on, what's going on? Yes. You have Thank surrendered you. yourself. You have surrendered your thoughts. This is something that I do advise to humans. There are appropriate times where you may surrender yourself, your thoughts, your vibration for periods of time where you feel you need to take a step back from humanity. When what you do is you restore and you regroup. Now at these points in time, yes, please, offer up to the universe the issues that are causing you distress. This is one of the functions of what you name your universe. Offer it up. Allow it to handle your issues for a period. Now please understand, you are beings of action. Unless you act, you shall not receive feedback from the universe or elsewhere. Intention is what is the most powerful. Now yes, at times, understood, your lives can become very overwhelming. Please, hand up your worries and be prepared to return. Be prepared to return rejuvenated. Be prepared to return with a solution. So yes, my friend, of course, surrender should you need to. Yes. But please come back to the idea that you do need to act. It is not as simple as handing everything up. Your responsibility is up to you. The way that you project, the way that you live your life, the way that you hold yourself, your choices in your lessons. This is all part of your lesson area. The universe will provide you with a break. The universe will provide you with space, whatever it is that you need. However, if you remain in this state, you shall not move forward. Does this answer your question? It does answer my question regarding you. I've got to move, I've got to do some actions. I do actions, but the process Very is good. really slow. 
process is lost. So I'm just to have to surrender regarding the process. This is what you're trying to say. Look to your inspiration. As I just spoke of, look to your mm -hmm. inspiration. Yes, surrender. As I have said, this is appropriate at times. But look to what inspires you. You have come to this meet at this point. You have come with intention. You have come because you are inspired. You have come because you have queries. You have come because you wish to do what you name ascend. You are progressing. So effectively, my friend, you have not completely surrendered. You are acting. Appreciate yourself for doing that. This is the case for all that hear this message. You have made the choice to visit with me at this time, to hear my message. This is progress. This is movement. This is acting. So do not denigrate yourself, please. Do not put yourself, what you would call, down. Do not dishonor the wonder and greatness that is you. Honor it by trust. Honor it by faith in you. Yes, yes I do. Thank you very much, Alma Talk. Thanks a lot. You're well, I appreciate it. Much love, dear friend. Hello, Alma Talk. This is Kaspar. I'm very happy to have you. Kaspar, hello, my friend. I don't believe we have met. No, this is our first time. Ah, it is my pleasure. Yes. So, uh, I would receive. I would uh, want to receive some guidance about. Um, I've been traveling the past year closely, and I will return in December to Switzerland and. I'm quite clueless about um, how it will be and what I will be doing there and my financial situation will be very open. So uh, I wonder if you have some guidance on that. Thank yes. you. My friend, I sense insecurity. Now, this is a public deliverance. So I will give you an answer that is appropriate. If you wish to address this further, please email Kim and she will respond. Now, the state of mind that you are in, you're vibrating very gently. You are vibrating in a very open space. There is no clutter around you. You are very effective in moving on, in leaving behind what you call your baggage. And because you do this, it brings you to time. It brings you to time to reflect. It brings you to time to look forward. This is wonderful. You have allowed yourself to indulge in the three-dimensional gift of time. Now, I would say to you, my friend, because you are in a wonderfully neutral state, please do not let the fears creep in. The doubt, it does not serve you. It is understandable as a three-dimensional being. However, please choose otherwise. You are exceptional. Your frequency is very high. You have vast experience and you have vast amounts of lifetimes. So have faith. Please, have faith. The outcome will be your choice. You will not be left to what you feel would, as humans say, left in the lurch. You will journey. You are open to looking at the indicators around you. You are open to reaching out to learn. You are open to new ideas. You are open to new concepts. Now I am also referencing your ability to create currency. You are very open-minded to these ideas also. So if this be bothersome to you, then please, it is absolutely fine as I just addressed with the dear no heart prior. Hand it up to the universe for a period. Concentrate on your now. 
concentrate on yourself the answer is there what would inspire you what is it that when you reach this point that would inspire you what is what you call your highest excitement what does your belief system wish for yourself in that way you can look to be guided you can look to be understood that this does not need to be a difficult experience for you my friend you're very open and you attract miracles and you know this so please have faith in your ability to manifest spend time be introspective create yourself beauty create yourself greatness for that is who you are it is not in your future to go with what you call without it is that you will be presented with choices so please remember that and be mindful and trust that those choices will be there and that you will make one that resonates with you is that helpful that is very beautiful thank you very much uh, it resonates um, thank you for that very good my friend much love to you much love to you bye bye goodbye share Hello, Armutok. How are, you? how are you, my friend? Ah, sure. Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing very wonderful. So I and believe. <laughs> I want to ask you if you have any predictions when the Intifada in Israel is going to resolve the war between the Israelis and the Israelis Arabs? Yes, there are many variables in this idea, my friend. Mm. There actually is no probability. At this point in time, the outcome is simply that it will continue. It is not shifting, not in the near future. It is unfortunate. It will take time and it will take faith and it will take trust. And unfortunately, it does not come up down to the result of your populace and the way that they interact with each other of course it is as if the rest of your planet it is governed that the changes need to be made in where you are governed and who governs you this will come this will come other countries that are interactive in the damage and disaster that is occurring yes there will be a sense of self-consciousness that will build there will actually be those who make these decisions on your behalf that will have what you call sleepless nights because they will become connected to the human collective that they rule this is an impending event however the timing is where the variable is so things may move quickly things may move slowly there are many minds involved in this there is many different kinds of free will and belief systems I would say to you my friend please use your own greatness be a leader demonstrate your beliefs lead by example now in this way you will influence others others will then influence others this be the greatness of the human species there is what you call the ripple effect and please may I remind you you cannot not influence so in answering this question sure I am going to ask you with the knowledge that you have accumulated and the care that you take and the honor that you give yourself please begin yourself to make a difference no matter how small you feel it may be your vibration and your attachment to the human collective is effective and you can make a difference 
Mm -hmm. Please empower others to understand that they can make the difference. You can lead, Shu. You have the ability to lead. Please enroll it. You may do it subtly. And I will remind you that the best form of leadership is to lead by example, by demonstration, not dictation. This does not work with the humans very well at all. And your history shows this for eons. So that would be my answer to your question, my friend. Thank you. And can you tell me if there's any personal messages for me, something that uh, maybe I should know for the near future? My friend, the journey that you are on, you are absorbing so much information and you are integrating it well and you have learned how to become grounded. It is beautiful to see. You are growing. You are becoming aligned with source. The idea of congruency that I share with you often. The alignment with source, the alignment with spirit, and the alignment with your great self. Now from this point, you are most effective. So I would say to you, please, make effort to maintain this state when you resonate at peace, please, those are the greatest times that you may influence. So this would be the advice I would give to you for your near future. Please stay on your path, enjoy your learning, enjoy your choices, and be the best that you may be. Thank you very, very much. You are welcome. Just to interject on the top, I just want to pick up on what she was talking about, about the peace in this part of the world. And um, the way it came over almost sounded quite dire at first, but what I gathered from that is that the probability factor is so large that um, or there's just so many variables that peace could happen very quickly, that's correct? Yes. Or, yes. So it, it, it could be quite a pros, uh, quite a... Positive. Where it is a sense of a 50-50, as you would call, choice, it does not take much to tilt the scales, as you would say, either way. Mm -hmm. So yes, it may happen quickly, and yes, it may not. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that clarification. If you just mind one second, guys, I need to give um, Kim some water here, and then we'll be ready for the next question. That is fine. Go ahead. I want to talk. Kim needs to drink some water. So. Carolina, you need to put the mic. Carolina, it's next. Oh, you've got a vacuum in the background. All right. Hi, hi, Anna Talk. My name is Carolina. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hello, my friends. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. I have uh, two questions, if you, if I may. Certainly. My my six-year-old son uh, came to me out of the blue um, to tell me and explain to me about dimensions in planets and how other species lived. Um, now I was surprised because I never told him anything about. Uh, anything about dimensions so I was wondering if you could um, tell me um, what why is this why what's he, what is he experiencing what he is experiencing his imagination is being triggered by many ideas now he is being triggered by external forces it is not coming from within his own imagination he is building upon them with his imagination and this is wonderful and thank you my friend for allowing him that space many of the children that are coming in on your planet at this time and in recent years and in further years this is happening very quickly these experiences you speak of with your children their reach their idealism and they are idealists they are humanitarian 
and there are many who are thinking globally. They are thinking galactically. They are thinking amongst the multiverse. They are not simply thinking about the toys in their bedrooms. Do you understand? They are being brought in for a purpose. Evolution of the human. It has been decided that now is the time to speed it up. Humans have always evolved. This is obvious. However, at this time in your timeline that will become your history, the beings that are choosing to come into your planet, the ones that you are choosing to support, it is all about the great growth of yourselves and the great growth of your planet. Now your planet as a whole is also working on ascension. Gaia herself is looking to shift with the love of the humans upon it. It is a holistic experience. Now the humans that are coming in, they are sharing these wonderful ideas such as your son, Bless him, my friend. You are blessed. You have brought through a wondrous being. They are coming to knowledge for a reason. And it is Thank wonderful you. what you are noticing. So please, all of you, look to the youth. Look to the children. And even see that between a couple of your years, that the evolution is great. Embrace it. Please encourage it. Please allow them the space to have these experiences. Please do not negate them. Please build upon them. Please nurture them. And when they are young, ask them to draw about it. Ask them to show you what it looks like. Encourage the expression. In this way, it also contributes to what is called the desensitization project. And this is designed to assist the humans in the idea of meeting, of first contact with aliens. Now, in this instance, yes, amongst your community, this is very much desired. This makes much sense. There is great love. Please understand, there are many who do not even consider outside of this planet that there is life. So it is important to keep the balance strong, to bring in new energies that will become ones that are decision makers on your planet. They will become inventors. And in the meantime, as they grow and they speak in their youth, provide them with the tools to share what it is they see. They will show you what you call spaceships. They will show you what you call aliens. They will show you all kinds of language and realms and they may even speak in a tongue that you are completely unfamiliar with and yet it may be an alien one. Allow it. Do not silence them please. Allow them to share these ideas with you for as they do they are active in the desensitization project which is designed to adjust the human consciousness to be prepared to look upon an alien without fear. At least in a community such as yours presented with the visitation of an alien initially your experience may be one of conflict. You may find you will have what you call a knee-jerk reaction. It is a reflex reaction, flight or fight experience. Many would choose to run. Where there are those who are awakened or even where there are those who simply quietly within themselves hold the belief that they are not the only life in the multiverse, that even they confronted with the view of an alien that perhaps even appears just a tad different to yourselves. It may invoke fear, but communities such as your own, you will think twice. You are informed. So in that moment when you are presented with this opportunity, yes, you may look beyond the fight or flight reflex and feel quite comfortable doing so and make the choice not to be fearful. 
This is all part of desensitizing the humans and getting them prepared for first contact. Thank you. Uh, I'll follow your advice. Uh, my second question. Um, I, I, I felt a presence last night and um, a pressure in my head. Uh, would you know if any, anybody was there visiting me? A pressure in your head, my friend. Whereabouts in your head? In the at the back of my head. Ah. Yes. This was an interaction from spirit. It was actually oh. an embracement. Yes. And you felt it from the rear, which is a little confusing for humans when this happens. But it is actually possible for spirit to embrace you from any reality, anything that you see as mass. Now, this spirit meant comfort for you. It meant to bring you company. It meant to bring you the idea that you are not alone. It also wanted to support you. It wanted you to be aware that it is there. Now, this is the wonder of the way of your world. You had this experience and you have come to me at this day to inquire what it was. This is magical. Spirit led you to where you needed to be by simply making you aware of your subconscious. I honor you, my friend. Thank you for taking note. And please do not be fearful when this occurs. Know and understand that this is one of your guides caring for you. Okay, thank you. Do you know who it was? Yes, it was one of your spirit guides, a female oh. one. Yes. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. Much love. Much love. Hi, I'm a talk. This is Karen. Hi. Ah, Karen. Hello, my friend. Hi. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? Yes, good. I have a question um, about something that has come to my attention this last week and um, it's been quite fun to explore it but at the same time it's it's remarkable um, and I don't know if you're aware but there is for some of us on this planet memories of events that have happened but in this reality they have not happened. And yes. I will give you an example. Um, there, is a, um, there is a preacher in America called Billy Graham. He is now, uh, in this timeline, 97 years old and alive. But I distinctly remember him dying. I distinct, distinctly remember because he was such a huge uh, uh, person in the American culture that his funeral was on the television. I remember watching it. I remember his son giving the eulogy. And I remember thinking about how much his son looked just like the father. Well, it's come to my attention that, well, though I know he died, he is no longer, he is no longer deceased. He is, he is no longer uh, in the past. He is now in the present. And he's living. Um, yeah. There is another... Uh, situation with a book uh, series that I grew up with and many children grew up with and it was called in my belief my understanding my knowing I can see the books the Berenstein Bears which was sp spelled with the Jewish uh, last name of Steen S-T-E-I-N um, but in this reality it is spelled Stain S-T-A-I-N Millions of people remember the books as Berenstein, and now they are Berenstain. So, and there's also <laughs> other things that I could list. I had Roxy on the Skype the other day, and we were going through them and laughing and really enjoying the differences, but 
what the hell happened and when did it happen is more my question. So, yeah, some clarity would be great. Yes, certainly. It actually appears on the surface that clarity would possibly almost be impossible. But it is possible. Well, I understand that it was a timeline jump. Um, and, or, or was there a rift of timelines or was it an intersection of them? Because there's many people who remember, I, which is interesting, I thought for sure my mother would remember Billy Graham's funeral. And yeah. she does not. She says, oh, no, he's still alive. But she remembers the books being Berenstein. Yeah. Um, I think I've shared with Kim and Roe, uh my some timeline jumps that I've had that where things were different, but they were different on a personal level, not, never such large, you know, uh, international scale where people... For instance, I'll give you another one. The, the television show Sex in the City which everyone probably knows, is not sex in the city, it's sex and the city. Um, there's just a lot of little ones like that. Um, different people's names being spelled differently. Uh, George Schultz, who does the Penix comics, his name was always spelled S-C-H-U-L-T-Z, but now it's spelled S-C-H-U-L-Z. Yes. So there's a lot of different things like that that are just slightly different Yes. Um, and it's, and again, mind-boggling. Yes, slight enough for you to notice and yet mm. not major enough to bring you fear. You find it amusing. This is yes. wonderful. Yes, this happens, <laughs> my friend. It is very easy for humans to achieve this. It is simply by making a choice. You have chosen to bring yourself to this experience. It is part of your belief system. You resonate with it and you feel you have what you call much truth around it. It is true. It is possible for these experiences to happen. Now sometimes, yes, to be sure, please understand, there is misinformation that is shared. So please do, do not look to where there is such contrast that it will consistently be what you call truth. But there are other experiences that are, yes, very much a true experience. And several of those that you just mentioned, yes, they have been brought to your attention for a reason. You are ready to accept the concept. You are ready to look at the idea of shifting of time, of shifting of dimension and shifting of reality and yet it is in such a subtle way it does not impose fear. This is deliberate. Many of you will have experiences such as this and one of the reasons, and may I thank you Karen, one of the reasons why many will come to be experiencing these ideas is because you have brought it to the attention. Now this is something that you were retrospective about. It inspired you. What did you do? You acted. Here you are telling the story of experiences that you have and you have enjoyed. Bless you, my friend. Now, may we share this idea amongst the populace that listen to this and suggest to them that this is a concept that they too may experience should they choose. Now in this idea it is very important for the human being that experiences these things is actually ready to experience it. It is very important not to instill fear where there is spiritual growth occurring in the humans. So your sharing and the way in which you shared and with your idea of humour, I very much thank you for we do not wish to instill this idea as being incredibly fearful to others. There is choice. There is free will. Now where one who hears this chooses that they wish to experience this, allows themselves the time for the subconscious and the connection of the collective of the galacti to show them that this may occur. 
without fear, without terror. Can you understand that for some who are uninformed that this would be very unsettling? That perhaps they would question their own what you call sanity. This is not purposeful. Ascension needs to be specific if it is to be done effectively. Now that is on a sweeping scale. I have made a sweeping statement. But at the same time, it is very much up to the individual whether they choose this experience for themselves or if they don't. And if they do not, this is not to their de detriment. Is this it a Sorry, Carol, please. This is simply an experience that many wish to share and there are some that do not. But I congratulate you, Karen, and I wish you further enjoyment and further experience. Thank you. I, 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 my question is also, and I, I'm not expecting an answer right now, but I'm hoping that this is the first step in conscious shifting of timeline as opposed to having it happen and then realizing it later you know I would like to be in more of the driver's seat of yes making that jump myself as opposed to jumping because it's something that my soul is seeing as it something good for me but then me Karen here right now can actually start to do that shifting in a more conscious way and may I elaborate on this? In your situation, and this be most often the way that this occurs, it is spoken about the shifting of time. Now, please remember, time is different in different dimensions. Time and timing. This is something that, yes, the humans may play with, and this is playful. What you are experiencing is actually playful. There is not necessarily a purpose here for you. This is something that is a new concept and you are in a position to be able to share this idea. Now, intentionally shifting your realities. I would say to you, my friend, at this point, there is a minimum amount of humans on the planet that would even consider the idea. Letting go enough of themselves and the 3D mass that brings in the security that they believe in, this idea is not going to be embraced by them. The planet needs to be ready. As I referenced earlier, Gaia will ascend with the populace. This is a beginning. You are not alone in your experiences. It is simply that you are the one who is to share it at this point in time amongst those who hear it. Please keep continuing to share it with the levity that you do. It is important that you keep it light in your communication, that you find it amusing. It does not need to be taken as a serious or fearful event. It will make people worry about it, for example. Most oh. definitely. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I no, I, I, oh, I just find it fascinating. Yeah. yeah. I find course. it fascinating and again as I've stated before, you know, the question always is when you when you encounter people who knows what you're speaking about versus the people that weren't there. Do you know what I mean? So the, it is it there is the chance that you will talk to a person that you know who does no longer knows you or knows the situation and there is a yeah there, there can be some uh, it can be a little tricky but that's okay I, but again I'm quite I'm quite interested in uh, learning to do it uh, maybe it's not where the whole planet is going but maybe it's where I'll go you never know I'll go and I'll come back and let you know I guess <laughs> uh, yes yeah um, just one second to interact with that Karen um, sure Probably about four or five years ago, and we were noticing the same thing that people were once having their, you know, announcing that they'd been dead and now they're still alive. And we were trying to work out what was going on, and then mm -hmm. we were getting the messages about the parallel realities and changes mm -hmm. and the timeline shifts. And I just put it down to that, but I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to hear that that is now noticed by other people as well. And you're giving it the opportunity, and we are giving it the opportunity to 
um, show other people online that, that the shifts are happening. They are real. Use this yeah. word. Right, thank you, we, Karen. We've, we, oh, thank you. We're going to do a, a hangout, apparently, according to Will. We've decided just in the chat just now. We're going to do a, a <laughs> hangout on the 11th, uh, on November 11th, called uh, Intentional Reality Shifting. And we're going to uh, talk about this subject and also maybe some conscious shifting going on. So, awesome. yeah. Very good. And I'm so pleased to hear that, Karen. I would just like to share with you, for yourself mm -hmm. and your own experience and your belief systems, this yes. experience is limitless for you. Yeah. Yeah, I think so as well. I mean, it, it comes down to intentional intentional living and shifting and, and that kind yeah. of thing, I believe. Yes. Yeah. It is yeah. boundless. For you, there is no border. And please understand, for others, there very much is. No so worries. play. Okay. You play thank for you. I will. And thank okay. you. Much love to you. I'm going to talk. I will talk to you hopefully on Tuesday. And I'll be dropping out to make room for somebody else. Thank you very much. Much love. Much love, Karen. Okay, we'll... Go then. I thought Will was up, or Valerie, or Pottle, no, or Gab, Johannes. Gab, Gab is next. Oh, okay. I don't know where he is. Is Gabriel in the room? No. A guru there was going to ask for him. <laughs> what? Which? I don't have his question. <laughs> okay, I got it. Um, okay. Um, it said, I really wanted to ask about the new energies. I have been feeling... A strong balance grounding energies and third eye um, I guess activation the last two days I felt really tired can, mm. can you tell him what's going on yes he has spent much time up on the colonies this is where the tired comes from he is busy in his sleep time as well as in his daytime I would recommend that he ask to visit less frequently at the moment if he is feeling tiresome. He is being balanced while he is up there and he is returning balanced and this be why he is feeling the grounding but it is happening up in the colonies. Gabriel actually visits there quite often. So I would suggest to him to request that he got not go quite so often for a period until he can recover. Okay. okay, thank you. Maria has a quick question. Yes. Oh, good morning. Um, in regards to the time shifting that you were just discussing, what if when for a reason or without any reason uh, we just experience out of body constant experiences? Is that reality shifting or time shifting? I'm sorry, I missed part of your question. What was the experience when you were asking if it was reality or did you say energetic? What happened here today? She wants to know um, um, sometimes she she's staying in this state of uh, not quite here. So she's mm. not sure if, if she's shifting realities or if she's shifting dimensions? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So she's not, she's not sure what exactly she's doing. Ah. Yes. Maria actually vibrates very highly. Her frequency is very high. It is very easy for her to become ungrounded. Now she can move dimensionally and vibrationally and with frequency. This is unusual. However, it can make three-dimensional situations difficult to address if you're not able to ground yourself. Now it sounds like a wonderful experience and it is. 
And very often when people have these experiences, they do not wish to come back and return and address the three-dimensional realms. Unfortunately, when the situation where you have chosen the greatness of the human incarnation and I will reinforce the greatness, you made the choice for a reason. Now you may have a tendency and ability to actually visit other realms and interact in different dimensions. However, this is not going to serve you on a three-dimensional basis. There needs to be existence in the life that you choose. There needs to be balance. If you do not choose that, at least for the majority of what you call your time, then you will simply become a wanderer without purpose and just exist in a dimension and your choice of life will become irrelevant because you will not be acting and you will not be living. So what it is, yes, it's beautiful. It may be many things. But I would say to you, please visit it. Do not move what you would call house there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Johannes? Oh. Hey, Elma Talk, this is Johannes. Yes, Johannes. Uh, I think I have two questions, or maybe three. We'll see what it will be. Uh, first question is, is there a draconian working uh, with the colony on Gerfag Mir? Draconian. Now, my friend, do you have a name? I think his name was Ethron. Ethron or Ethron? Yes. And you were asking if they are interacting with Gerfag Mir, yes? Yes, or if they at, at the moment maybe are working there. Yes, there is interaction. It is not as you would imagine at this point. Let me explain. The experience of Gurkvik near at this time, there is much focus. They have much to concur. They have much to, to make assessments about. They are doing their very best at this point to deal with what's going on between the governments and themselves and also what's going on galactically amongst the species who are coming around the planet. So they're doing their very best with the tools they have available and they are being very effective. Now, in the near future, Earth is going to draw more on the ideas, the energy, the experiences of Gurkhikne. There will be more demands made, more requests, more issues addressed. Now, Gurkhikne are preparing for this. They know it is coming. Now, at the same time, there are species around your planet, species who simply come to observe, there are some that come with an idea where they may be looking to use the hybridization project or they may mean to bring harm. Now, Gurkhikneer are also operating as a filter between them and you. Gurkhikneer has your best interests at heart. The species that operate within Gurkhikneer have been well chosen. And there are species who have applied. Now, there has been one more recently added. There are two more that are being considered, potentially a third, and they have turned away many. Now, as with any species, and this applies also on your planet, there is what you would call a bad egg in every species. There is also greatness within every species. Now you refer to the draconian. My friend, they are not simply draconian. They are far more than that. Yes, they are interacting with Gurkvignir. They are interacting at a high level with Gurkvignir because they have come to be placed upon the committee that is sorting through what you would call the applications to become part of Gurkhik Nair. It was necessary to enrol a being such as this in this process. 
because there are more coming from his part of the galaxy. So judgments need to be made, assessments need to be made, choices need to be made, filters, policies, laws. So there is much activity. So yes, I am familiar with this being. Awesome answer, thank you. And I have my friend Martin here with me today. And uh, we're wondering if there's any messages for him today. His name again, please. His name is Martin. Yes. Yes. Please inform him. Uh, he's listening, he's listening. There is no shame in protecting confidence. There is no shame in believing in himself, that he is of greatness and wonder, as are you, and you are brought to each other in this particular case because there are lessons for you to share. So he plays a role, and this role will be played out. It is wonderful that you have found each other and it is wonderful that he is looking to these ideas also. So please, I would also say to you, Johannes, though your ascension, as you would call it, process is moving very well and effectively, please understand that your friend is capable of doing the same and I would ask you to elevate him and invite him, embrace him, into the fold of what you call Hugo. He will be greatly welcomed and your guidance, Johannes, is appreciated. Thank you. Well, awesome. Even more awesome. Thank you. That was all for today. I love you all. Thank you. Awesome. Much love, my friend. I would like at this moment to see if uh, if um, she needs Kim needs to drink a little bit of water. Right. And hey, Roy will, will like you to check your Skype. Ah, okay. I don't have my laptop. One second. I'm sure I'm getting crushed through there at the moment. One moment, please. You good? Yes, I'm yeah. done, thank you. Okay, one second. No, that's okay. Okay, Pavel is next. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Amate. Yes, hello. Yes. It's my first time. I'm really very excited to talk to you. Ah, oh, thank you, my friend. And I, you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> my first question is, uh, we are going to, with my family, to move to Russia uh, mm. in two weeks. And I'm um, yeah. very uh, <laughs> excited about this idea, um, starting from uh, scratch again. And can I, um, how it will be for us? Ah uh, yes, are you asking on behalf of your family or yourself and what the future holds, yes? Yes, me and my, my wife and the son. Yes. Yes, once again, my friend, I would say to you, put some thought and some time into the idea, yes, because it is necessary for you to manifest. It is necessary for you to act. It is necessary for you to build what it is you wish to create. Now you are a creator. You are a gifted creator. So your manifestation techniques are very effective. I would say to you, put some time in before you actually leave the country you are in and you arrive in your country you call Russia so that you have set forth the intention of what you wish to achieve. Now, there is a video cast and delivered several months back. I would hope that you are able to find it. It is named the 
manifesting the everlasting manifesto. It is a deliverance that I made. It has been reshared several times throughout the internet under different names, and this be fine. It is a message that is important. However, please seek it out. This point in this following two weeks that you speak of, you may use it very effectively. So I would ask you, yes, please intensify what it is you wish to create. Put your intention into it. Spend some time doing the practice of manifestation and then relieve yourself with some what you call playtime. Elevate yourself, lift yourself with joy, lift yourself with laughter and then in your other moments create. Build upon your ability to create your reality. Now, if you do so, when you do arrive in this other country, you will feel that you are very familiar with your environment and your situation and you will have a sense of which direction to move in next. But it is important at this point in time that you do put in a touch of effort to support your actions. Do you understand? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, second question. Um, what, uh, how to grow? How, what is my? Can you help me to to find my way to to grow and feel stuck in lower vibrations? Yes. Yes, my friend. Please, may I encourage you? The idea of being stuck. There are times when it is actually a period of peace. It is an opportunity for you to be still. Yet in the idea of the ascension process, it is often forgotten that with the three-dimensional human, the time is your friend. You are gifted with time. Time to give yourself to make decisions, to put in thought, to create, to be kind, to be gentle, to love. These are all gestures toward what you would call ascension. Please do not for one moment consider you are stuck. Eliminate that idea completely, please. You are constantly moving because you are a vibrational being. So you are vibrating constantly amongst your surroundings, in your connection to source. You are constantly on the path you choose. So please do not see where growth appears to be stagnant or slowed as being stuck. It is simply that a situation is not created at this point. You have a great move forward coming to you. For so this time, perhaps you are being granted the indulgence, as humans would say, of just being still. Understand, being still can bring with it great wisdom, for you are still enough to hear. You are still enough to feel any vibration that might reach out to you or outside of yourself. And you may have what you call epiphanies and wonder where and why. And it is because you have been still and you have been able to hear. There is growth in being still also. Please understand that. So I would say to you once more, as I did in my initial deliverance, follow what inspires you, find what inspires you, and then aspire to be it. Simply be mindful of that and know that you are on the correct path. Thank you. And um, my final question is, do I have a message and from who? Do you have a message? Uh, if you have, a, if you can deliver a message, if there is a message for me and from who it is. Yes. Yes. I would like to ask you, my friend, 
your spirit realm is very active around you at this moment. Yes, please. Would you make a request of them on behalf of your partner? Please inquire. May they work together. Your partner's spirit realm along with your spirit realm. Your spirit realm is active and hers is not so much at this moment. And for you to have a successful transition at this time, it would serve you to have your spirit realms working together. This will bring you also three-dimensional, what feels like unison. There will be less dissension and far more unity. And that is what is needed at this moment. So that would be my message. Please just enroll your spiritual realms in your decision-making processes. Just acknowledge that they are there and acknowledge that they are guiding you and ask that they do it in a dual position that they are sharing with you both. That is my message. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Will? Greetings, Amatak. Well, Thank you so much. How are you, my friend? I am well. How are you, my friend? Awesome. Totally awesome. Of course. <laughs> so thank you for all your help in the past and inspiration. I was wondering, what is my connection to Sheer? Ah. Uh, yes. Exactly. There are several of you who are connected to Sher. When Sher arrived in Hukolo, several people noted him. His vibration is very distinct. This very much has something to do with the part of your country that he lives in, but at the same time, he is a very unwitting, influential being. So there are several of you who are connected with Sher. Now that will come to pass. That will become more obvious. Well, you are very sensitive to these ideas. So of course you will notice something like this early. It is a connection and it will become very clear as Sher moves to the idea that he sees the connection. This is where it needs to happen. There are those around him who feel it, but at this point, he is not. Once he does, and he will, and this will be helpful, and thank you for sharing, then your connection will become very obvious and your interactions will become very special. Thank you, Elma Tuck. Yes, he and I have chatted just a, a short bit and we both yes. noticed the connection, but apparently I'm inspired to ask about it today. So, yes. so maybe it'll come to fruition sooner rather than later. Please persist, yes. Please persist. Because it is of dual interest to you both and others within your group. There is great resonance. Now, I will not share this with you publicly. However, if you would like to have a private conversation about this, I would be more than happy to do so. I feel you talking already. <laughs> Very good. Thank Gratitude, you. Gratitude, love. Much love. Next. Valerie. Good morning, Emma Talk. Ah, Valerie, how are you, my friend? I'm very well, thank you. Very um, good. Lately, when I've been, whenever I've been meditating, I see Jesus first, and then I see several different beings' faces. I yes. still don't really hear much from them. I just see the faces. Yes. Um, and then also, I've had all three crystals inside the body activated, and I wondered if yes. I have been to the crystal room. Ah, <laughs> yes, well done, my friend. Yes, you have. And you you resonated very highly with the experience. You actually needed to be removed earlier than most. Now, this is partially because you are grieving 
and it will serve you to go back again. Now, I would ask you to put the intention forth, please, with respect of yourself and understand that it is okay to feel your three-dimensional human loss regardless of your spiritual beliefs and then ask to visit the crystal room again. I would recommend that you do it at least once in your month for the next three months. This will be helpful to you. And in the meantime, congratulations. Thank uh, you so much. Yes, I would like to reference also, as you see Jesus and you are in meditation and you are seeing other beings' faces, thank you for sharing that with me because I appreciate the fact that you are aware of it and I want to congratulate you. There will come further clarity from these beings. You will come to understand who they are and how they interact with you. Now bless you for your interactions with Jesus, this be part of your belief system and I congratulate you on this also. Please know you are being much loved and this is what is being shown to you in those moments. There is much love that surrounds you and much love that is waiting for you to accept it. So please be gentle on yourself at this time and enjoy your visits to the Crystal Room. Thank you so much for making that option and also bringing it to public attention once more. Thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate you. Thank much you. Love. You're very welcome. Guru Dan? Hello, Alma Talk. Ah, oh, Dan, hello. It, it's me again. Yes, my friend, how are you? I am well. Uh, I would like to talk to you privately later, but I have a couple of okay. questions here first. Yes. Uh, I have a question from member Michelle. She says, since her Arcturian DNA upgrade, she wants to die all the time. Oh she my. says it was supposed to have an opposite effect. She wants to know if it, the uh, the DNA upgrade is related to her issue and what the solution is because I guess it's driving her rather bonkers. I would say instantly there needs to be a stop in the activation of that DNA immediately. Please, one moment. Yes, I've made the, the request. In the process of the next 24 hours, she should be feeling less of this. If she is not, please ask her to reach out. Please ask her to get in contact with myself. She may do that via Kim. This is very important. This is not the intention of Arcturian DNA. This needs to be addressed. It is okay. very important. Yes. Who should she reach out to? She may come to Alma Talk myself, yes. She may do it through Kim or Rowy or any of the other members who have access to Alma Talk, yourself even, Dan. Okay. Maybe she can come uh, to the after chat and uh, discuss with Kim directly if she's available. Yes. A, a private conversation would be more effective, I believe. However, okay. immediate action is necessary. So whichever way it evolves, it will be perfect. Okay, all right. I'm hoping she's listening or if not I'll pass the word on here when I get through speaking. But yes. I felt that was important because um, she, yes. uh, that, that's a serious kind of problem. Yes. Um, I have a lot of questions uh, I can say for myself. Um, about the group, about Hooklo itself, uh, all these new energies and things, people not feeling well, the adjustment of things, do you have any wisdom you can impart for the group to help them through this little time? Yes. I, I would suggest patience. Patience with each other, patience with ascension, patience with growth, empathy as I delivered recently is a large part of what is required at this point. It is reflecting on a global scale. 
and it is actually reflecting further out than that. It can and is causing difficulty in many varied ways, some more subtle than others, but it is patience and understanding that will get you all through this time. The group in itself is not necessarily as cohesive as it may be, but ultimately it will become that. There are things being put into place, there are decisions being made, there is also guidelines and this will serve you all for it is required as the group grows. So I would recommend that the mission statement be made public and adhered to and always within the site of the membership. This would be my recommendation to get you all through this time with as much peace and respect for each other as possible and abiding by the policies that have been made with the best interest of everybody involved in your group. Okay, thank you, Alma Talk. Thank you so much. And I'll be visiting with you soon. Yes, lovely, Dan. Thank you very much, my friend. Mm -hmm. I shall see you then. Much love. Much love. Frank? Yes, hello. My name is Frank. Um, now, recently I've been having nightmares, unusual, scary nightmares. Um, and, and, and these nightmares, these are very, very terrifying nightmares. But there's this one nightmare in specific where, where I knew I was in a dream. I woke up and, and I was excited that I was in a dream. But at the same time, I was terrified that I was in a nightmare. So it was this elusive dream or false awakening. I... I meditate. I meditate, not you know, from time to time. But uh, the last time I meditated was about two or three years ago. Um, so I meditated for the last uh, for the first time uh, in three years, and I felt an unusual energy, a dark energy, and maybe a new self. I maybe I maybe I'm lost in life. Um, but I, I do believe that these nightmares are a symbol or something that foreshadows in my life in the, in the near future. Yes, I do need to ask you further questions. However, please, my friend, I feel your terror. I feel your panic. I feel you scattered. Please. We need to work with you to bring you back to unison. There is much of you that you have left behind and beside and around and this has caused you fear and your focus, my friend, my goodness. Please relieve yourself. You are safe. You are safe. You are meditating, yes. This is very good as long as it serves you. Now your dream, it was a dream within a dream. Yes, you refer to it as a nightmare. I would even say to you, my friend, the vibration I see is that it was a night terror. And this must be addressed. Now, there is always... One thing that I share with any human who feels that they are having experiences such as this, if you understand and are aware of the idea and the concept of what source is, some would call source God, some would call source the creator. Now in this particular instance, and this is how I reference it, source is the greatness of the golden light. It is the beginning and the end of everything and everyone. Now source is a tool you are constantly connected to. It connects you to each other. It connects you to your universe. 
it connects you to your collectives and it connects you to a wonderful supportive mechanism called source now you my friend are very much connected to source as well in this idea please visualize yourself with a connection coming from your heart chakra now the light of source is actually beyond the hue of three-dimensional eyesight so please simply envision it as the lightest color of gold that you may this is perfect the intention is what will create this connection now I give you this visual also for a purpose you are having a vision of something dark let us eradicate that immediately I would ask you to surround yourself completely shroud yourself every inch within two or three meters boundary of yourself emit that source claim it as your own it is your protection it is your greatness it is your enablement and it is your access to safety now this is very important it is important that you understand that the choice of the light of gold is the light that the darkness cannot see when light and dark are being referenced it is very often visualized that the light be a shade of white and the dark obviously be the shade of black they are reflective they are polarities they are visible to each other one may attract the other and vice versa where you take the color of golden source the shadow cannot see through it please embrace yourself shroud yourself in source when you meditate please shroud yourself in source keep it there ask it to stay with you consistently wherever you go whatever you do shroud your house shroud your loved ones shroud your automobiles I advise this to any human no matter what their situation but in your case it is imperative that you understand that you have a form of protection and that you have a choice and this terror my friend please allow it to dissipate allow it to slowly just drip out of your realm outside of your auric field now when you choose to fall into your sleep once again request that source protect you now this is something else I would like to share with you what is going on in your subconscious in your dream time is part of a collective it is a human collective of dream time it is a collective that is drawn on it is actually a very good example of how collective consciousness works now for the humans where they reach out and they are having a dream they believe that it is their own and yes it is and they create they evolve they amass they emit energy visuals and frequency now this frequency connects this idea this creation of a dream to the human collective the human collective of dream time now reciprocally creators of great stories wonderful books anything that is inspirational anything that is wondrous where the creativity has come from the place of source and the place of dream time do you see dream time and also creation on earth they are shared they flow together they vibrate together this is just one example of how it works for the humans now when you go into your slumber 
please request your subconscious speak with it as you would your greatest friend for it is. Ask it for protection also. Ask it to filter out anything that may mean you any harm. Do this consistently until you feel freed of this experience along with shrouding yourself with the light of source. Now, thirdly, and I give you three ideas for a reason, the power of threes. I would like you to choose something that represents sanctity to you. If you have a belief system where you believe in the idea of Jesus, then perhaps a sacrificial cross would be appropriate. If it is something else, then maybe it would be a crystal that would be appropriate or a gift that you hold dear from your childhood. It matters not what it is. What matters is what it represents to you. Something else that you can put in place in your three-dimensional realm that represents you being safe, that represents you being free of terror. This must stop. So please use these three tools. Allow yourself a period of time and seek peace. And if it does not come to you, please do not reside in that place of terror and do your very best to manage your scattered self. This is not necessary. This can be rectified. So allow yourself some time, please, to do this. And if you do not find peace, then please contact me. This is very important. We must eradicate this. I send you much love, my friend. I will come to you and I will share loving energy and protection with you in the meantime. But please know you are a great being. You are wondrous and you will feel whole and safe again and from that you will have created existence and experience that you will be able to share with others. Does that answer your question? Thank you. You're very Thank welcome. You. Mm -hmm. Please take care my friend. Thank you. Um, okay on that note I believe that was the last question Amata. So ah. I uh, would like to thank you for coming and answering everybody's questions and uh, being so kind. I know you don't have time, but with your time, as we would say. Um, and if you have any closing statements, um, we will welcome that. Yes. And then we will allow uh, Kim to rest. Yes. I would simply like to reiterate the idea that I began with, that you have chosen life and in your existence of life, appreciate it. Take a moment, as you say, smell the roses. Take a moment, understand that life is a blessing. The fact that you exist and you get lost in your three-dimensional worlds and you forget to be grateful that you have life and see the reflection that it shows you. How great are you? What an impressive creator are you that you created yourself life. This be your greatness. Please embrace yourselves. Embrace each other. Hold yourselves close. Honour yourselves. Be humble. Use truth. Use integrity. And be the very best that you can be. In that way, I bless you. I love you and I thank you. And I shall greet you again soon. Much love, my friends. I shall leave now. Namaste. 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 How are you doing, Kim? Hi. <laughs>
Oh, I'm good. I'm thirsty. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> How is everybody? Very good. I think everybody got their questions answered. And oh, good. It's a great so. message. Yeah, really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Oh, glad it was good. <laughs> on that note, um, Do you want today to for the blessing, um, I would like I'm gonna call on the Arcturians to. Since people have talked about balancing energy, so maybe to do that, um, to help balance the energies. And then we can close. And uh, don't forget, Kim will be on the radio. <laughs> yeah, I've got a few announcements after the blessing so um, uh, uh, that I missed earlier. So. Oh, OK. Do you want to do those first? Yeah, sure. Um, I just want to say thank you very, very much grateful for everybody from Hugo for the donations that have been coming in. Um, believe me, it makes a huge difference to how we can get these these, these webinars done and the progress of uh, creating more for you to interact with. So it's, it's beautiful how you are helping shape and grow this reality. Um, we also have some special guests um, lined up, um, some very, well, you could say famous channels, I, I guess now. Um, for some upcoming Saturday webinars, so we're just arranging some time for them to come along as well, so um, we, we keep you updated on that one. Obviously, if you want private sessions with Alma Talk or with Kim, um, she has um, a, a good schedule. I know the time zone can be quite difficult, but please do get in contact with Kim um, through her page on Human Colony on the left-hand side, private sessions with Kim. Um, Alma Talk is always there to help with Ascension advice, plus Kim can channel quite a lot of other beings, she's still working out the, I don't think there is a limit there, so be my guest guys, just get in touch and, and, and see what happens. Um, she's also offering a few offers now and again, so um, keep an eye out for that. Um, Kim will be on Karen's show, which is called About Oneness on Pyramid One and Blog Talk Radio, and that's on Tuesday at 6 p.m. EST, I th think. Um, oh, Sarah's been doing, I forgot to mention Sarah's um, meditations. Congratulations, Sarah, for going to Ireland and doing that amazing stuff. It's great to watch the videos. So proud of you, honey. And um, yeah, it's been beautiful to watch that. So we look forward to your next, um, your next healing hangouts as well. Thank you. Sabrina. Okay, so thank you, Roy, for that, and I'm sure there's a lot of events. I think you had posted all the events now in one yeah. page. Is that correct? If you go up onto Hukalo now, the 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 sticky will be story time, which is later on with Roxanne. Um, hi, Roxy, and that's at 5 p.m. EST. And hi, honey. Hey, Anne. And that's very exciting. I mean, it's 10 o'clock in the morning for us, so we're going to get an early night to, to make it <laughs> down under, but we do our best. Okay. On that note, I will do the... Uh... <clears throat> Thank you, Sabrina. Yes. You're welcome. And Diane. Yes. Thank you. For my mom, Wam Will, for mentioning about the... Um, But okay, Sabrina. My Ki kuru 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 Uri, 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 Uri,
Cario curun turuaria, aria, 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 Cario curun taria, kio curua, kia ki, kia ria, 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 Ki ukuru akia kia ki. Kariya kuru kuari akia kia kia ki. Prokara ki ankuru akari akia ki ukuru. Karakia ria 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 Cario curum curua, caria, 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 tu si caria, 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 tu curua, cara, cara, cunco, a cario con tu curua, caria, chi, chi, acqua, taca con, ti a chi, a chi, a chi, a cu, tu coro canta, caria, chi, a chi, curu, ca, chi, chi, oro, cucura, ca, chi, parano no curu, 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 Care aria 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 tio qua aria oru ku ku a katu Blessings dear one thank you very much Thank you Sabrina that was beautiful So yeah. we've been human colony www.humancolony.org if you want to sign up and visit the stars and interact in the way we've been doing Come along and visit the website and join on from there. And we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for turning up. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.